Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us for another segment of the My Child, My Voice Kid Connection show powered by the National Parents Union. I am Miss Wendy, and I'm so excited for our guest today. Her name is Miss Guerra Fana Ruiz. She is a children's book author. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm so honored to be here. <laughs> and I'm, we're so excited about this book. Um, it's Can you go ahead and tell us the title of your book? Yes, this book is the book that I co-wrote with my husband, The Afro-Latino Alphabet. And it's so I'm so excited about it. And for those of you that are watching, it does have um, translation in Spanish. So you can actually do English and Spanish. But Piera is going to go ahead and do the book reading in English. So um, I am going to step back and let Piera go ahead and tell us story time. Awesome. Thank you. I'm so excited to share this story with you guys. So let's get started. The Afro-Latino Alphabet. A is for Africa, where our roots begin. B is for bailar, to the rhythm of our many music genres. C is for Salia Cruz, the queen of salsa. She's one of my faves. Che is for all the children. We dedicate this book to you. D is for grandpa's domino set. E is for education. That is very important to us. F is for fami family or familia, the people we love the most. G is for global. We are everywhere around the world. H is for our heroes throughout history. I is for island, our home, even when we're far away. G is for Johnny Pacheco and all of the Fania All-Stars. K is for kindergarten, where we learn to love one another and our differences. L is for La Lupe and her soulful lyrics and bold performances. Double L is for llegar. We are, we have arrived and it is our time to shine. M is for the beautiful melanin in our skin. N is for all of our unique names that make us special. N Y is for our ñeca, our strength and perseverance. O is for Agrioso. We are proud to be who we are, even prouder of where we come from. P is for Pelo. That is beautiful in all lamps, textures, and colors. We love our hair, right? You guys see I have big hair. <laughs> Q is for Mommy's famous queso frito and mangu breakfast. Do you like yours with salami and eggs? I know I do. R is for Roberto Clemente and all the great baseball players he inspired. Double R is for arroz. Who in your family has the best recipe? S is for our skin, uh, is, is for how our skin reflects the sun. T is for the tambour drum the heartbeat, our favorite song. U is for unity in our community. We need to stay together. V is for the vibrant colors in our flags. Do you think, uh, do, what do you think the different colors mean? W is for Wilfredo Vargas and the sound of his trumpet. X is for Latinx because we all have a voice and deserve to be heard. Y is for dad's yummy yucca fries. I'm starting to get hungry. And Z is for the zumbido in our hearts and the sound of our cities. That was beautiful. Thank you. 
I love the vibrant colors of the book. I mean, the illustrations are just gorgeous. And I love that it tells you our culture, you know, the culture itself. Thank you so much for putting that together, you and your husband. Yes. I was, I literally had so much fun reading this. I'm like, oh my God, I remember all of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> And like I mentioned to everyone, it is in Spanish. You can actually translate it to you. It is bilingual. So you can read the book in English and Spanish. That's what I love about it. Yes, for everyone. <laughs> and um, Kira, if anybody wanted to purchase your book, how would they go about doing that? My book is exclusively on Amazon.com. Great. So thank you, Kira, for being our guest today and reading this beautiful book. And I... Can't wait to talk to you on our next show, which is the Parent Connection Show on Tuesday night, where we get to find out your inspiration on this book and more about you. And I think I hope all of you get to join us. That ends our story time right now. So, Miss Kieta, I know that you got to go and help your students. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. And everybody, we're about to start our craft. Thank you so much for having me. See you guys. Bye. Hi, everybody. So as I mentioned, we are going to do a craft today. And since Ms. Guetta was talking about, you know, the Afro-Latino ABC alphabet, we're celebrating the Black History Month. And so since we're celebrating the month, I wanted to celebrate an artist, which is Alma Thomas. Alma Thomas was an expressionist. She's an artist. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You're probably going, oh, my God, this is just lines on here. She created beautiful paintings that actually were abstracts and she had like techniques on how to do patterns out of this. Now this is a simple pattern that I put together, but we're gonna learn how to do similar painting just like Alma Thomas did. And it's gonna be very easy what colors you may have at home and then, you know, or just materials and supplies you have at home. So. I'm going to get started and I'm going to move my camera down so that you could see where I'm doing and then we'll get going in our craft. As I mentioned, this is going to be a very simple craft. All you need is a white sheet of paper. I am using, you know, a harder piece of paper so that um, my paint doesn't go through. But if you just have a construction, make sure it's white. Um, and it so that the paint doesn't go through. Now, the paints that I'm using can be any color that you have at home, but you want some bright colors. So I have my reds, I have my orange, I have my yellow, I have, you know, purple. Now, if you, you don't have to have specific types of paints. It doesn't matter what paints you have at home. If you have, these are acrylic paints. If you have like the Crayola paints or any type of paints you have home, Go ahead and get those out. I'm gonna put this to a side and what else you need, and I'm gonna show you something simple, is brushes. Now I have different brushes, different widths, sizes is what I need. So you can see how my different sizes of brush, and I'll tell you why we're gonna use different sizes for this really cool artwork we're gonna to do today. And then I would suggest having a paper plate so you can have your paint palette so you can mix paints and then do different shades. So today we're not only going to learn the shades, but we are going to learn how to mix our different colors to make this beautiful painting. And then one thing I want to say is if you do have an adult in the house, make sure you have some type of wipes. Um, and then I always have like a napkin to put my brush on like when you're finishing up and um, also like a cup of water. Of course, you see paint in mine because I've already started on mine. But I always have my water so that I can take the brush, you know, clean the brush after each one and then clean it. And there you go. So you're thinking, how am I going to start a straight line and do this? Here's a simple thing that I did really quick. Another supply or another thing that I used was my um, ruler. When I started doing, you know, it was such a straight line. I know I can't do straight lines. So in the beginning, I drew um, dashes here and I did it like this. 
And it doesn't matter how far you're doing them. If you want to do closer, further, this is what's fun about art. It is your artwork. So I did, I put, I did my dashes and I did them really light so I can follow it. Once you start doing the dashes, you no longer have to keep doing them because now this is going to be your line. And it's really simple, really cool. There are my dashes, done. Now you can do that in the beginning here like I did to kind of give you a start so that you can go on there. And if you need help from your, you know, whoever your adult is in your house, you know, this is a fun thing we can do together. And so I want to go ahead and start. And it doesn't matter what you want to do first. Do you want to do a wider brush, a smaller brush? This is what's so fun about it. Um, I'm going to wet my brush and then I'm going to get my color palettes and I'm going to try a light blue. Now, when I say color palettes is you can mix your color. See, I have a pink. I took red and white and I made pink. Um, I did a light lavender and I mixed white with purple. Here's my dark purple and I mixed it with white and I got a light, like a light violet lavender, however you want to call it. Play with your colors. And so I'm doing a small one like this and a lot of times I'll brush it so I don't have that much on there. And all I'm going to do is just follow my line. Now you don't have to be perfect. This is what's really neat about the abstract work that um, Alma Thomas did she made a design. Now, today we're just making a really cool um, painting that's simple, but she would make a circle out of lines. She would do um, a heart. I mean, it just depends. And, of course, I'm going back, and I'm kind of filling in where I need to go back in. Like I said, this is a fun thing to do with your mom, your dad, your tío, your tías, your grandma, your abuelita, your abuelo. Whoever you want to do um, crafts or you have fun or even a friend from school. And did you know that Alma Thomas actually started painting when she was in her 80s? That's what's neat about her. And we're actually trying to mimic what she created. And see, see how simple this is? Now I'm just going back over what I did. I'm like, okay, I didn't feel I want to make it a little darker. Ta-da, I did blue. And if I want to do, and you don't even have to go like, it doesn't have to be a blue on a blue. If you want to do, like, let's do red. I'm going to put a little bit of red. If I don't spill it, this is where. Boop. And put my red. So that we can start on that one. And again, I'm going to get my paintbrush. I'm going to go whiter. I'm going to wet it. Put it on here. Now, the reason why we're doing this is so that you don't have that much water on your brush. Because you want more of the paint than you do the water. And so this is what, you know, I do. And I just, a lot of times I dab it here so I don't have too much. Isn't it just like an artist? Now, I don't need to do the lines because I have a guide. And if you if you don't make it like you're saying, oh, my goodness, there was some spaces, that's okay. Because guess what? We're going to come right back on them. Need more paint. Yeah. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. And see how simple I'm just pressing the brush on the paper. And then I'm going back in and I'm taking the paint that's already on the paper and I'm painting it over. I don't even have to add paint to make kind of like a square. It's a square shape. Isn't that neat? And I'm going over. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is what's so fun about art. It's your artwork. And 
going over here. Now she did a lot of, Alma Thomas, the painter, did a lot of things with trees and flowers around her. And she made, like I said, she took shapes and made designs out of them. Today, we're just going to do something simple because I don't think, I mean, if you practice good enough, you could be just like Miss Thomas. She was a black woman artist. Um, she did encounter a lot of barriers when she was doing this. Like I said, um, she was older when she started painting. Now, I think I'm going to add white. So I want to brush this. I'm going to put white over here so you can see i mix your colors have fun with them you can do green and white and yellow or you can do brown and white i mean see i did a pink here i did um here was a pink i had white i did red with white i did orange and then i did a lighter orange i did a dark purple and i added white so it just depends on what you want to mix your colors. And you don't have to go like the way I'm doing it. See how I did smaller strokes and then I did. You can do whatever you want. You want to do a small brush? Well, guess what? You can do a small brush. That's what I think I'm going to do here. I'm going to get my smaller brush. I'm going to wet my brush. And I am going to mix the red with the white and see what color we get. Mm, I need more red. Mm -hmm. And see, this is what's fun about painting. You get to the color you want. I'm mixing my colors. I'm like, okay, I want it darker. Ooh, I'm starting to like my color. Play with your colors. Have more than one plate so that you can mix your colors. As you can see, I have different ones. I even did a light green. And then once I found the color I want, I didn't want to put too much paint on it. So I do the, you know, take it off a little bit on the plate. And then I start my next row. And all I'm doing is this. Look how easy this is. And don't worry if, like, see how my paint's coming off. I'm just adding a little bit more paint and, and you can go back and fill it in. And guess what? You are now an artist. So I'm artist Wendy by doing this. And that's that simple. And you can go all the way through, all the way down. Um, I go back and I fill in what, like, see how this is? I don't want to. I want to fill in my colors, so try to do that. And if you need help, ask the adult in your house. And don't worry. Look, I messed up here, but it's really not messed up. It's art. It's so much fun. And I'm going over my paint. My granddaughter loves doing paint. We were going to do construction paper. You can do the same work here with construction paper by cutting pieces of construction paper into squares and making either a heart, almost like mosaic is what they call it. But um, my granddaughter wanted paint. So Olivia got paint. And there you go. So you keep, I'm going to put my brush over here. I'm back. Hi. So you keep doing this all the way through. And actually it makes your precious art. Anything that you create is artwork. And this was so simple. You can do with your mom, your dad, or the adult in your family, or friends, or your cousins. Like I said, your Theo and Theo. Ooh, I got some paint on my hands. <laughs> and um, it just teaches you a little bit about the different structure. You can put your paint like this. You can, and then hang it on your wall. Like this is your own artwork. And you know what artists do? They sign their name. So make sure you get a pen, pencil or something and sign your name. Put how old you are. It'd be great because I know like with my granddaughter, when she makes stuff, I have it all around my house or I put it on my refrigerator because I'm so proud of her little artwork. So I hope you do the same. I hope you enjoyed our story time today as we read the Afro Latino ABC alphabet uh, with our special guest and doing, you know, Alma Thomas impression art. Um, and then show us some pictures of your artwork. 
Make sure you join us next week at another segment of the Kid Connection, where we'll bring another story time as well as an exciting craft. This is powered by the National Parents Union. Again, my name is Miss Wendy, and please come back, boys and girls, and I hope you enjoyed your day today. Bye.